Kat Von D has had nearly a dozen public relationships since starring on LA Inc., and the majority of them did not end well. But the mother of one has apparently found her man, and they appear to be going strong, for now. Here's Kat Von D's complicated dating history. It all begins with Oliver Peck, Kat Von D's first husband turned tattoo rival. Some of his greatest hits include his alleged attempt to edge out Von D's tattoo shop by opening his own a few blocks away and a blackface scandal that forced him to drop out of Ink Master. The pair was married from 2003 to 2007, and it was apparently not a happy union. You see us splitting up? Yes. If you work on certain avenues, sometimes things could change. Over the years, the former Ink Master has proven that he has no problems trashing his ex in the tabloids. He told In Touch, She's done nothing but screw over every friend she's had. She cheated on me, got messed up, and left me. Overall, Peck claims that Von D was the most self-centered person he's ever been involved with. I think it's safe to say these former lovebirds won't be rekindling their romance anytime soon. After Kat Von D's split from Oliver Peck, the star made a pit stop with some rock and roll royalty. In 2008, she found herself swept away by Roy Orbison's son, Alex Orbison, aka Orby. Thus began a decade-long trend of dating musicians. But this first time, Von D seemed particularly taken. According to TMZ, the pair got matching tattoos of each other's names about a month into their short-lived relationship, a clear sign of a dramatic ending to come. Orby allegedly aired his grievances about that unhappy ending on MySpace. According to 2008 reports from Oh No They Didn't and TMZ, who captured the blog post before MySpace went bust, the musician likened his paramour to, quote, a parrot with no brain or emotion. The relationship between Key Six and Kat Von D, who dated for more than two years, seemed serendipitous, at least in that rock and roll covered head to toe and tattoo sort of way. The pair basically looked like the opposite sex versions of each other, and this one didn't end in flames as they still seemed to be on relatively good terms. Six even included a tribute to his ex in his New York Times best selling book, This Is Gonna Hurt Music Photography and Life Through the Distorted Lens of Nikki Six. He told Us Weekly, I felt that being nice and kind to the relationship was important, and I know all things come to an end eventually, and when it did, I didn't feel that it was my job to point fingers. Six clearly has come a long way since The Hurt, because at the time of their split, Von D left him utterly brokenhearted by quickly jumping into a relationship with Jesse James, who's best known as Sandra Bullock's philandering ex, he told TMZ in 2010. You know, it's hard when you were just told by someone you dated for two and a half years that you're the love of their life, and then they move on so quickly. You know what they say, you can't hurry love. Or maybe you can. Kat Von D might have swiftly moved on from Nikki Six, but while the pair were still dating, Kat may have gotten a little taste of the lifestyles of the rich and the famous. Right now, we're trying hard to imagine a world where good Charlotte's Benji Madden didn't unexpectedly end up with Cameron Diaz. According to TMZ, in 2009, Von D was spotted snuggling with Madden on a park bench in Hollywood while she was still publicly dating the previously mentioned hair metal legend. Honestly, the paparazzi photo looked a little suspicious, but it was gone from headlines just as quickly as it appeared. Can we get a Motley Crue cover of Good Charlotte's 2007 hit, Keep Your Hands Off My Girl? Kat Von D's torrid relationship with Jesse James only lasted about a year, but it was quite the whirlwind of a year. According to People, the Monster Garage star popped the question in January 2011 after around six months of dating, but the pair called off the engagement twice before they had the chance to say Happy New Year. So what went wrong? The same thing went wrong with James's marriage to Sandra Bullock. The dude was reportedly a very prolific cheater. Now that MySpace is merely a ghost of its former self, Von D had no other way to reveal the drama than through Facebook. And boy, did she spill that tea. The month after her split went public, the makeup mogul claimed that James had cheated on her with 19 other women. She wrote, I deserve a big fat I told you so from everyone. Years later on Anna Ferris's unqualified podcast, Von D kindly, albeit slightly, reduced the number of James's alleged side chicks, a small reprieve that he didn't necessarily deserve. I don't even know how it's physically possible to f so many people. The first batch of emails that I found were about 18 confirmed people that he had sex with during the one year that we were together. Honestly, through all of this, we can't help but wonder, what was Sandra Bullock thinking? 
Kat Von D has made some curious choices when it comes to dating. We mentioned how her first husband, Oliver Peck, was wrapped up in a blackface scandal, but she's also been known to get involved with men who are weirdly into Nazi stuff. In 2010, a photo surfaced of Jesse James wearing what CNN called a German Nazi hat while performing a Nazi salute. His lawyer told the publication that it was a, quote, gag gift from his Jewish godfather, though that sort of joke might be lost on most people. Von D's lovers aren't the only ones with neo-Nazi links. She had a scandal of her own in 2008, when TMZ published pictures of a headshot she allegedly signed with an anti-Semitic message to her former boss. The reality star's publicist claimed it was forged, but years later, she still felt the need to come out and say that she wasn't anti-Semitic. You know the saying, where there's smoke… After the ultimate betrayal, Kat Von D found love again and was subsequently betrayed in exactly the same way. At least, that's what she says. Following her broken engagement with Jesse James, the reality star fell into the arms of Joel Zimmerman, aka Dead Mouse. The pair dated on and off for about a year, with the DJ proposing on Twitter before the ring was even finished being made, according to the Daily News. He apparently just couldn't wait. Only six months after Dead Mouse got down on his virtual knee, the pair was surrounded by breakup rumors. That's when Von D ominously tweeted about the prolific music producer, "...cheating on your loved one is the most hurtful thing one could do. I hate to have to admit that this relationship is indeed over." So Dead Mouse cheated? Not so fast. In a lengthy Facebook post, the DJ admitted that he was intimate with another woman while the couple were broken up, but Von D was apparently aware, and they moved past it. The Facebook post partially reads, at the end of June, it was clear that the relationship was not working and we mutually ended the engagement. I was not at any point unfaithful to Kat during our time together. The third engagement is, apparently, not the charm. When Von D's game of cat and mouse was over, it was clear the tattoo artist was sick of drama. That is quite honestly the only conceivable reason she'd go out with Tom Green, who's best known for his, let's call it, unique brand of humor. What in the name of sweet breakfast meats are you doing? For your information, this is me being creative. Okay, even we have to admit, Tom Green sounds like a genuinely nice guy. I mean, he is Canadian, after all. According to Perez Hilton, the newly rumored couple was spotted out on a movie date the month after she ended her engagement to Dead Mouse. The first time around, nothing much came of Green and Von D's unlikely love, but this wasn't the end. Three years later, they reportedly rekindled their romance when, you guessed it, Von D needed another rebound. According to the Daily Mail, things kicked back up when she split from Jackass's Steve-O, and at the time, Green was an eccentric enough maybe boyfriend without as much of a dangerous streak. Sadly, Von D wasn't over bad boys just yet. Tom Green wasn't Kat Von D's only repeat relationship. The star also dated Steve-O twice, once in 2007 and again in 2016. This is a shock, considering the way it seemingly ended the first time around. According to Oh No They Didn't, the Jackass star was notably bitter after breakup number one, posting one of their private conversations on his personal MySpace page in a scathing blog post titled Kat Von D's Lies Catch Up To Her. In it, he accused the former LA Inc. star of sleeping with numerous men, including someone who appears to be fellow Jackass star Bam Margera while she was still married. He also claimed that Von D did indeed write the anti-Semitic message that caused a tabloid stir in 2008, even though she's ferociously denied it. She's on record lying about a lot of things. I don't care, I've moved on now. I'm a happily married family man. Apparently, he didn't move on that much because the pair rekindled the romance nearly a decade later. According to E.T., they lasted just three months. An engagement is temporary, but a tattoo is forever. Kat Von D's complicated dating history wouldn't be complete without all the permanent reminders, and we're not talking about the tabloids. The star is a major fan of getting ink to commemorate her relationships. Von D's famed face ink is a tribute to Nikki Six. According to Mir, the stars represent Motley Crue's song Starry Eyed. In other words, she has to think about her ex every single time she looks in the mirror. When she split from Jesse James, she told TMZ that she wasn't removing his tattoo, a ribcage portrait of the star as a child. However, getting cheated on with 19, sorry, 18 different women is certainly enough to make a girl change her mind, though. The following year, she went through the painful process of getting it removed. 
Following her split from Steve-O, Kat Von D took a year to date around. When Von D fell for Prayers singer Leah Farr Sayer, she fell so hard that she married him twice, and it all happened within months of the couple being Instagram official. Hey, the girl moves fast. In February 2018, she showed off their wedding bands and matching manicures. Four months later, the tattoo artist married her boo a second time in an elaborate gothic-themed wedding. According to brides, there was an all-black dress code and Von D wore a red, long-sleeve gown with devil horns. The whole thing looked pretty wild, particularly the person holding her lengthy veil in a full-on latex-looking bondage suit. Were those her bridesmaids? Did they catch her bouquet? Sayer also wore a veil, but his didn't need extra hands. Who said second weddings can't be big? There was a time in Kat Von D's life when she didn't want children. In a 2012 interview with Dr. Drew Pinsky, the tattoo artist revealed, I've known since I was seven years old that I was never going to have kids. I just always imagined myself as this worldly, traveled gypsy lady. It's not what I want, and I don't want to put my body through it. Fast forward six years and the star completely changed her tune. True love will do that. Three months after the couple's February nuptials, Von D revealed that she was pregnant with a boy. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about Kat Von D are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.